Well, things are kicking up a notch, aren't they? Compared to the start of the year, when it comes to content on the channel, isn't it? Welcome to September, the time when people go back to their educational establishments, but as for me, <laughs> been there, done that, never again. Now, let's begin with the elephant in the room, shall we? Talkative. It's now in full production, so I can finally say that when it's done, I'll be free from that specific installment of it. I'd actually conceptualized the talkative video essay format back in college, but it wasn't until I was transitioning between college and university when I finally released the first episode of the series with Attack on Titan 2. And then maybe five to six years later, I'm finally working on another one. The format is fun to research and put together, but it's getting the footage that's the main task right now. The footage I have recorded, however, is a revised Let's Play of Superstar Saga Plus Bowser's Minions, which I believe I'd stated in a previous update video. So what I've been doing is doing the test playthrough of the next area of the game, writing into the script, making notes and recording the episodes based from those notes, and then putting the footage into the talkative project. I didn't want to do a full test playthrough before recording, because I would like certain things fresh in my mind, so that I don't forget any details when I go to record those episodes covering those areas. Speaking of the revised Let's Plays, I've done a bit of tweaking and shuffling of content on the channel. The old versions of Let's Plays is now a section on the channel in preparation of the new versions, but they haven't been unlisted just yet. I'm currently 8 episodes into the revised Let's Play of Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions, which means that the full LP will have been completed when the target of episode comes out. And that also means that SSDX will be the first Let's Play that will not have any breaks and releases, and also no consistencies. I can't say the same thing for the next LP after Dream Team though. I have also come up with a default channel thumbnail design for Let's Plays, so the thumbnails will be also consistent in designs. I just have major OCD when it comes to that sort of thing, okay? Now, I don't know if it's noticeable, but Dream Team has been fully recorded. It's also on the list of Let's Plays I would like to revise at some point in the future, but it will be a little different. I'm not saying anything about that right now, just gonna have to be on edge about it. So I guess... it's now time... My decision for the next Let's Play has changed around a lot. I've said all sorts of things, like Captain Toad, Pokemon Shield, Skyward Sword, but I guess I've kind of settled on I know that game has been let's play to death already, but there's been a lot of factors lately that made me want to go back to play Super Mario 64. First off, it will be the lead up to the revised let's play of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Second of all, Charles Martinet has retired from the role of Mario. So what better way to celebrate Charles Martinet's career with the game that basically started it all for him. And also, well, I do have things to say about Super Mario 64, but we'll get into that when the Let's Play announcement video comes out. And last but certainly not least, Splatoon. Specifically Splatoon 1. You may have noticed that there is a Turf War video on there. The service came back up for Splatoon 1's multiplayer, so I can finally cover the multiplayer modes on the main Let's Play, and not just those one-off videos that I used to do. So Splatoon will be concluding after that and the C side of the Let's Play, which are the Amiibo challenges, which I can finally also do, because the plan for Splatoon was story mode, multiplayer, then Amiibo challenges. So that's about it. That's about it for this update video. So see you guys for September's content, and it will be 
the ending of Mario & Luigi Dream Team. 